Hey, and welcome to episode five of my series on designing branding. And today I'm going to be showing you how to design a set of icons for your brand. I tend to start with a pencil and paper sketching out ideas. So I have brought my drawings into Adobe Illustrator. I just chopped them up and I made sure that each of them fitted in one of these pink squares that I've put on a layer just so that I can make sure that they're all roughly the same size. With the sketches, I brought down the opacity of them just so that I can see the grid underneath. A little tip for you, I wanted to make my squares bigger than they were originally set up. And if you want to do the same, all you need to do is head to Illustrator, go to Settings, Guides and Grids, and then all you need to do is adjust this section here. So let me just make this 250 pixels and you'll see that that just makes the squares even bigger. So I've already drawn a couple of the icons and you'll see they have this sort of like rough textured edge. I applied an effect to them because I wanted that kind of rougher hand drawn look but you can keep yours super smooth and slick if that is more the aesthetic. So I'm just going to draw these icons that are left and show you some of the tools that I use to create the icons. So let's start off with these coffee beans. So the first thing that I am going to do is get the ellipse tool and I'm just going to draw a simple coffee bean shape and get that in position. Now I want there to be a gap between the coffee beans. So I'm going to add a stroke on the outside and make that white. And one of the key things when you're making icons is that you make sure that everything's very sort of uniform, looks the same. So whenever we're applying a stroke, we're going to make sure that it has the same weight all the way through. I'm going to make sure that it's three points. And then I'm just going to duplicate this and put it in the back for this next bean here and make it a bit smaller. So you can see I'm just sort of recreating my sketch with shapes. I'm going to put this one here and put that to the back as well. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the pencil tool and I'm going to use that to draw on the little wiggles that are on the coffee beans. Now I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm just going to hide that one just so that I can see my sketch in the background. And I'm just going to draw those on pretty much following my sketch. I'm going to round the ends and I've made sure that these are three point as well so that everything's nice and consistent. So I'm going to go ahead and go object expand appearance on those to make sure that they're shapes and then click expand. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to expand these shapes as well. And then what I'm going to want to do is play around a little bit with the shape builder tool because I don't need the shapes that are underneath. Select all of these. I'm going to get the shape builder tool and I'm just going to join together certain shapes. So I want these ones that are behind to all come together. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to group these white lines, which I'm eventually going to delete, but I want them to be there to sort of partition my black shapes, if that makes sense. And then if I ungroup, I should be able to just remove that completely. And there I've got my three different coffee bean shapes. And then if I turn the squiggles back on, they go on top. Now I don't want these to be white. I want you to be able to see through them. So I'm just going to select these two shapes and I'm going to bring up the pathfinder window and I'm going to use a minus front object. And you'll see now that you can see through to my sketch behind. So let me do that with these two as well. And there we have our coffee beans. And I'm happy with how that looks. I'm just going to group everything together. So I'm going to add the effect, I'm going to select the shape and then I'm going to go effect, distort and transform, roughen and then obviously that looks very extreme but if I bring that up to 75 and make this 0.25 and make it smooth you'll see it gives just a nice rough texture on the edges which I'm really happy with. So that's my coffee beans. So the bowl. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle and I'm going to curve in the corners. Now, if I do this, it's going to curve all the corners. But if I select that one by clicking on it, then click shift and select that other one, I can make it so it just curves those two bottom corners. I'm then going to use the ellipse tool and I'm going to draw 
the mouth of the bowl and I want this to be clear in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that white. I'm going to increase my stroke to three again to keep everything consistent. You'll see that the line is overhanging the edge of the bowl slightly. So I'm going to bring it inside with this one in the align stroke. So align stroke to inside. Then I'm going to go object expand appearance an object expand and then I'm going to ungroup it and what I'm going to do is move this and then I'm going to take that shape and this shape and minus front and then I'm going to bring the ring back down so then we have a nice see-through option there and now I'm going to create the spoon and for the spoon I want it to be a solid shape so again I'm just going to get the pen tool and I'm just going to draw my spoon and now I want to add this all together as one shape so I'm just going to select it all get the trusty shape builder tool and add it all together and we have our final icon and then I'll add the texture to it so that is our set of icons I created some earlier where I put them all on the colored backgrounds and also I can then create them in all different colors as well come back next episode where we're going to be putting all of these assets into a library and getting everything organized so that we can start applying our branding consistently everywhere if you have any questions pop them below and make sure you subscribe to adobe live